I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with an order that I placed off of the Beauty Habit website. I actually got a coupon in like one of my emails that was to save, I think it was 22% off my order. So I jumped at the chance to repurchase one of my absolute favorite perfumes, which is the I Perfumi Differenzi Vanilla del Madagascar fragrance. And this is a perfume that is made in Italy. It's an Italian perfume brand. And this is a 50 milliliter 1.69 fluid ounce bottle and this is the largest size that it comes in there is a little smaller size I want to say it's like a 10 mil but I always get the biggest one because again it's one of my absolute favorite perfumes and I, I just absolutely love smelling this throughout the day and it does a really good job of lasting as well and you just get these really beautiful whiffs of vanilla and it's like it's kind of a unique one. I kind of liken it to the Anit Goutal uh, Nuit de Confidence perfume, which I absolutely love as well. They're not the same, but they have that sweet smell that, that isn't warm. It's I don't know if there's a, such a thing as a cool vanilla, but it's got more of a interesting vanilla scent that doesn't have that warm kind of, uh, some of them can get like sickeningly sweet, if that makes sense. This one is not like that. I can just douse myself in this. So they did switch the packaging um, I would say this was the first bottle that I got in the new packaging. Prior to, I probably went through four bottles of this already. I just love it. So this is actually the bottle that I've gotten. So you can see I've been running out of it. So I jumped at the chance with the coupon code um, to get a repurchase of this guy here. And then also, Beauty Habit sells Chantecaille. And I really wanted the... A lip crystal from their holiday collection and this is in pink opal so it's 0.14 ounces or four grams and this particular product is also made in Italy so this is the packaging and the packaging on the lip crystal doesn't have like the little graphic that um, kind of can come on the packaging it's just a really kind of light pastel mint green and I've got this topped over another lip product which I'll show you as well and it's quite um, it feels kind of moisturizing, but it is quite gritty because there's a ton of like micro glitter or sparkles in it. And again, it does feel quite gritty. So I've worn this a couple times so far and the packaging is really pretty though with the gold kind of brush gold and the mint on there. And then you can see the outside has got the sparkles, but looking at the end of the bullet, you can actually see some of the grittiness to it. So it does feel kind of gritty, you know, going on. But I think that it looks really pretty. It looks really like shiny because of the sparkles, but it also feels kind of moisturizing. So I'm not mad at it. I don't mind that it has a little bit of a gritty kind of texture to it. Um, let me go ahead and swatch it on my hands. Not a ton of pigment, just a very light kind of peachy pink, if anything, right there. Yeah, it's a peachy pink, very, very light. Try to get a little more swatch there. The shade again is Pink Opal and it's the Lip Crystal from uh, Chantecaille's uh, Holiday Collection. And again, I do have that on my lips topped over another product. And I do think it looks really pretty. And then I also got the Batty Bean and Shroud Hallow Bean Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the second version or collaboration that Batty Bean has done with Shroud Cosmetics. And I'll show this palette next to the other one as well. I missed the original launch, so I did the uh, second pre-order. So that's why I just got it. Um, this guy here is made in the USA and there's a total of 0.47 ounces of product or nine shades that are 0.05 ounces per shade. Packaging is super cute. I would have really liked to have this <laughs> for Halloween, but I'm still glad that I got it. It's kind of got a slight like matte kind of texture to it. How cute, right? Fatty Bean is a, a YouTuber uh, as well. And then there's a mirror in there and the shades in here are just stunning. I've worn this palette as well. I get along with the shroud formula really well. It is a standalone for me because of this light kind of golden green shimmer that's on the bottom. I can use it underneath the brow and on the inner corner, but just really pretty shades. They're pigmented. They blend out really well. I love the color story in here. That orange I put on the lid and it is like the epitome of an orange, sparkly orange for Halloween. And then these next ones. And then these two shades right here, they almost have a slight uh, multi-chrome effect to them. It's not super strong though, but if it does have a little bit of an interesting shift in the light. But 
but that's just like a really pretty rusty grungy orange brown shade and then this last one which is a matte uh, green really really pretty palette and then let me show it um, next to the it's freaking bats one because I think did they come out with this again and then do it in a bundle maybe I'm making that up I just wanted you to see them next to each other in case you did buy um, the other one so they're you know in my opinion they're quite different color stories I've used the first one that came out quite a bit I adore that color story so really pretty palette there from uh, shroud and the batty bean collection and that is called Halloween right there and then I also picked up the new Tartlet Energy eyeshadow palette why I'm not sure <laughs> it did look really pretty but it's just not um, something unique to Tarte so if you've gotten any of their more recent palettes like they came, came out with a really large one with a, a very similar color story um, you've seen all these shades <laughs> so anyway this is the Tartlet Energy palette it is made in the USA and then there are 12 shades that are 0 0.053 ounces per shade so this is the box packaging. I actually purchased this at Ulta. And then the actual packaging is kind of on par with their 12 pan palettes there. And then inside you have got a quite rosy neutral palette. And I have used this and I got along with the formula really well. I can say that Tarte's more recent formula has been very, very nice. Um, depending on kind of what line it is in Tarte, they can be a little bit finicky. And then their older, I believe it was the very first Tartlet palette that came out that was all matte. I, we didn't get along. <laughs> the uh, matte shadows in the newer palettes are much, much nicer. The shade Serenity up here in the corner, it's a like a matte burgundy, is quite stiff and dry, but it's very pigmented and it blended out. I just had to kind of keep going in there to pick up that product. And the shimmers are really pretty. Does this smell like vanilla? Yeah, it does have a slight sweet scent to it, which I don't mind. I don't ever have like any issues with them. So let's give you some swatches. But like I said, <laughs> I think they're the In Bloom palettes. Maybe I should grab that big one and kind of show it next to this one. But if you're looking for a more compact version, you know, maybe this one would be nice if you don't have a whole bunch of tar palettes. <laughs> and then this middle row. I thought that they did really kind of venture out with that, um, is it the Manifest palette? That palette is so pretty. And some of the metallics in this palette remind me of the metallics in that one. Like that one I just swatched right here. It's really pretty. And then same with this gold shade down here. But I've been, I've been really impressed with, um, Tarte's newer eyeshadow formula. It's very nice. So here is next to the Full Bloom palette, which is the great big guy. And then if you got the Holiday Eyeshadow Palette Duo that Tarte came out with, this is the Gilded palette, which this is a beautiful formula. It's on par with the Manifest palette as well. Um, that is the comparison right there. So quite a bit of similarities between those two right there so if you didn't want to kind of double up and you did get that holiday version yeah you kind of have um the shades there so that guy is the new tartlet energy amazonian clay eyeshadow palette and it is a standalone for me as well ulta also got the new ColourPop palettes in enchanted and fairy well so these are new 12 pan palettes and i picked up both of them so they're pressed powder palettes a total of point Four, four ounces of product in each one across 12 shades and I'll start off with the enchanted one it's got a bit of nice like kind of texture and a soft matte feel to the cardboard packaging here really pretty and then inside you've got a bunch of purples and kind of berry colors no mirror in this guy now this palette does have one glitter shade which is shape shifter which is this one right here and I tried to use that um, because there is a little bit of pigment base to it, but mostly a ton of like sparkle and glitter in it. And I packed it over the uh, CoverGirl and Olay and it, it just didn't want to adhere. So if I want to use that, I got to put something like a glitter glue on and stuff like that. I'm just not the biggest fan of pressed glitters in palettes, which I think a bunch of us are. <laughs> but anyway, the other shades in here are really, really pretty. Nice burgundy palette. So this first one is that pressed uh, glitter shade. 
And this is a standalone for me as well. This shade right here looks really pretty underneath the brow. Wait, I got that backwards, didn't I? This shade looks really pretty underneath the brow. This one is the pressed glitter right here. And then this middle row. Like such pretty purpley colors in this one. And then this last row, which are all matte shadows. So just a really pretty color story. I just wish that was a normal shadow. <laughs> so that one right there is the ColourPop Enchanted eyeshadow palette. And then the other one is the Fairy Well Pressed Powder Palette. And this one's a little bit more neutral. Same style of packaging in here. And this one, <laughs> this one's got two pressed glitters in it. I do feel like these ones feel a little bit more tacky than the pink one in the other palette, which felt a little bit more dry. And I haven't used those particular two. I kind of just stood away from them because I used the purple palette before I used this one. I was like, ah, I'm not going to bother. But um, these ones do feel a little bit more tacky. So this is just a really pretty neutral palette. It, it is also a standalone for me because it's got some nice lighter kind of highlighty shades in there. Some really nice medium uh, transition-y type shades and then also some really pretty really deep shades as well. And then this middle row and then these are those two pressed glitters right here. I wish those were like just really foiled metallics instead of pressed glitters but yeah those ones just really feel a lot tackier than the one in the other palette maybe I will give them a go and then the bottom row So those are the swatches right there of the Fairy, Fairy Well Pressed Powder Palette, is what they call it. Really pretty neutrals though. And then as many times as I've told myself that I wasn't going to buy any more Morphe palettes, I got... <laughs> I got two more. Their color stories just kind of draw me in sometimes, so I picked up both the 35 XS No Silent Nights palette and then I also got the new Morphe and Abby Roberts eyeshadow palette and I've worn both of these palettes. Um, definitely haven't used every single shade in them but I got a good idea of both the matte formulation and the matte formulation in both of these palettes is really really great. Um, I get along with that formula pretty well. There had been some duds in the past but especially the more recent ones have been pretty good. There was one palette, a really bright one, that opened a little bit differently that I did end up returning because the mattes in that one were just not that good. But both of these ones are very nice. Um, and then sometimes their shimmer shadows can be quite firmly pressed and difficult to work with. Um, I think that they've gotten a little bit better. They still are a little bit more stiff. Um, like the really like ones that have look like they have a lot of sparkle in them but they're more sparkly over the primer than some in the past and I didn't have to grind my brush in there that hard. So I'll start off with the No Silent Nights palette which is the cardboard packaging right there. 35 eyeshadows and then they don't do plastic anymore which is also really nice. It's just a piece of paper and this one actually had some eye diagrams inside of it. And this here palette the color story is just really it's just really really pretty. It's got like some muted kind of murky silent nighty type shades <laughs> if you will so like the shades like this one here like this moods electric so that's one of those ones where the formula i almost feel like maybe there's just a little bit more or too much uh, silicone 
binder in there and then when they press it really hard it stiffens up the formulation is kind of how I feel about some of them they're not all like that and then to point out the top row right here all mattes the third row down is all mattes and then the bottom row is all mattes and then these two rows right here are shimmers definitely a standalone a lot of different options so I'll swatch this one here which is again like a little bit more stiff and then I'll kind of go down the line here and you can see some of them are just a little bit uh, softer so these ones are all shimmery shades and that's that first one you just kind of have to use a flat stiff shader and grind your bright brush in there and put it over something tacky and then the sparkle is really pretty after you kind of do that you can kind of see on my hand there that pretty sparkle in there aren't those pretty shades though and then i'll swatch a couple more of these guys here these are also all shimmer shades Like really pretty though, right? And then let's do some of these matte eyeshadows, some of these grungy kind of grays and these blues. I just, yeah, again, I really love the color story in this. Some from this middle row here. The mattes in this palette are just outstanding. And then I'll do um, four from this bottom row here as well. Gotta set this uh, palette down. And I wanna say, uh, I think that these are on sale too at Ulta as well right now. But what a pretty color story. So many shades and they're nice too. So that one there is the Morphe no silent nights and then there are some of the swatches right there from that palette i think i forgot to state where these are made these are made in china there are 35 eyeshadows a total of 41 grams or 1.44 ounces of product so here is the other one it's the morphe x abby roberts palette it's got really fun artistry on the front and this one also came with a little uh, paper inside to kind of protect the shadows cardboard packaging got a little kind of writing there from Abby Roberts on there I'm not super familiar with her but I just really liked the color story in here so most of the shadows in this guy are matte and I do get along with the formula pretty well so there are one two three four five six seven shimmer shadows so like I use this starlit shade right here and same thing, that particular one is more stiff and I had to kind of use a flat stiff shader to pick up that product and really kind of pack it over um, the primer, the cover girl that I use. And after that, the sh the shine and like the, the shimmer that it has is really pretty, but it's one of those that's also a little bit more stiff. So let's go ahead, let's swatch this one. The gold, get some of these shimmers. I'll actually swatch all of the shimmers I think the shimmers in this one are a little bit thicker um, than the majority of the shimmers in the other one and then we'll do this one this one's smooth this one is a little stiff and this one is smooth and then we'll do let's do this green This is also a definite, definite standalone for me. And I've worn this one as well, but definitely not every single shade in there. And then let's get some of these bright shadows. Let's do the really, really bright ones here. Like those almost look like UV style shadows, right? We'll do this red, this pink. This blue. Oh, I was like, what is that noise? My brother's outside with his big equipment moving snow. That's what's going on out there. How vivid and bright are those? And those are these are all matte shadows. 
And then let's do a couple more. Get some of these neutrals and then this blue and this blue here. Very, very nice. So that's the Morphe and Abby Roberts palette. And that's everything that I got in that I purchased. I do have some orders out there and they're taking their sweet old time to get here. <laughs> it is the holiday season, so I imagine that has something to do with it. But I did also get in some really lovely PR packages. I got in my first ever Laura Mercier PR package and I was just so excited. I was like, what? So this is the box that it came in and it says happy holidays Tara on it, which I was just like, it's personalized, <laughs> which made it even more like exciting to me. And they sent me over two of their holiday sets. So this first one is the Heart of Glossé Lip Glossé Duo. And this is what it looks like right here. And it's got two glosses in there, which I'm not sure if I've ever tried. Um, the Laura Mercier Lip Glossé formula before. I don't recall that I ever have. So these are made in the USA, and then there is a total of 5.7 milliliters um, in each uh, tube here. So this first one is Starlight, and it's got like a peachy kind of look to it. It almost looks like a clear base with a ton of golden, pink, and silver shimmers in it. I'll give you a swatch of this guy. This is what the applicator looks like. Just a really shiny one. And these do have a little bit of tack to them. They, they have a little bit of stickiness to them. So they should not slide around, but I know some people don't like a little bit of tack to their lip products. These do have a bit of tack. Um, and then the other one is Sugar Plum, which has got more pigment to it. It's got sparkles in it as well, but there's more color to this one right here. It's like a rose shade. Right there, so that one is the Sugar Plum shade. Both really easy to wear shades, in my opinion. Something you could just like pull out of your pocket and throw on and not like have to worry about. And again, this is the Heart of Glossé um, Lip Glossé Duo from Laura Mercier, right there. And then the other set is the Flawless Encounter Translucent Loose Powder and Puff. So this is the translucent shade that's in here. And I've actually got this powder on my face, but I have it in the pink version. I've actually been through several of the translucent versions as well. Um, it is one of my favorite setting powders. It's one that doesn't dry my skin out. It gives the tiniest bit of coverage, but it gives a really smooth finish on the skin as well. So this one actually comes with a powder puff. I remember a long, long time ago, I had purchased one of these uh, powder puffs if you're somebody who likes to like roll the powder into your skin and then you have got the translucent powder So there's a total of one ounce of product in here Which is another thing that I really like when I buy these you get a massive amount of product So the container actually has some festive uh, Look to it with like the gold and pink and light pink ribbon on there and then the gold top Again, this is the translucent version and then it does say on the packaging that this one is made in the USA. So I was so excited because um, I did use up my translucent version of this and then I got the pink one. So I'd been using the pink one. I like both of them. And right now I do have the pink one on and I can use the translucent one. Um, the pink one just kind of brightens up my face a little bit more. So if I have a, a base product that might look a little bit too deep on me or it's running a little bit too warm, I like to use a pink powder over the top. If I have a base that runs a little bit light and I wish for a little bit more color, then I like to use the translucent version. So like super exciting for me because I love this product and I got a PR package from Laura Mercier which is also really exciting for me and a huge thank you to Laura Mercier for sending over those two holiday sets. I also got in a PR package from Pixie and they sent over this duo box of the Glow Tonic which is one of my favorite skincare products. I've been using it for quite a while now. I was using the 2% BHA from Paula's Choice for years, the liquid version and then I think it was 2019. It's funny that I remember this because I was, I think I was in Sturgis or yeah it wasn't no I was in Deadwood <laughs> South Dakota um like my skin just turned and was like this is too much for you you, you got to stop using it <laughs> so I switched to the pixie glow tonic and I've been using it morning and night like ever since so I've gone through several several of these I have got empties that I need to film if you guys have watched my empties you will have seen these in there and I think if memory serves me correctly the last empties that I did was th Thanksgiving of last year 
So that means this is a year's worth of empties that I need to do that video. Maybe over Thanksgiving break, I'll be able to do that. <laughs> anyway, they sent over this box here of the Glow Tonic and there are two bottles of the Glow Tonic in there, the 3.4 fluid ounce and also the eight and a half fluid ounce. And they have my name on there, Tars Glow Tonic, which excites me to no end. I'm actually using the great big guy that they sent over last holiday right now. And I think there's about that much left in the bottom that also says Tars Glow Tonic on there. There's something about it having my name on there that just excites me. <laughs> but again, this is a product I've been using for a really long time. It's an AHA, not a BHA. So it does more um, with the surface of the skin as opposed to kind of getting down in the pores. And so sometimes I do layer up a more gentle BHA with products like this to help with the cleaning out of the inside of the pores as well. Just love me a good acid, BHA, AHA, PHA. <laughs> So a huge thank you to Pixie for sending this over. And then I got in the most beautiful PR package from Fluorasis and the products came in this really pretty like heavy duty kind of box that has like a faux leather feel to it. It's just like really pretty. Um, I'm actually going to put this in my room and use it uh, as a jewelry box. So it comes like that. There were products in here and stuff, but I took them out because they're over there. I'm going to show you in a minute. <laughs> and then um, there's this little piece that kind of comes out and you can angle it down like this if you were to use this kind of to as a mirror like to set up. And then the mirror also slides out of the side. It's just a really lovely attention to detail. And then this bottom part opens up and you can pull out a drawer. It's all decorated and stuff. And I believe... Um, that this has, is in a quite a few bundles on the Fluorasis website right now. They're having some really good uh, Black Friday stuff going on. And I believe it's this box that's in a couple of their sets that they're offering. It's got a nice weight to it, just but just really pretty. If you don't know Fluorasis, this is kind of like a indie um, Chinese based brand. And they're just one of the most beautiful makeup brands out there. If you've tried anything from Fluorasis, you'll know what I mean, but their packaging, their formulas, um, everything about it is just such a beautiful, beautiful brand. I enjoy quite a few products and I've got some of the products on my face today as well. And I purchased from Fluorasis as well. Cause one thing that you'll start noticing is when you get like the palettes and stuff with the pretty embossing, it makes it very difficult to want to use them. So then you want to buy another one, one to use and then one to look at. <laughs> you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So there were four of the Fluorasis Velvety Color Holding Lip Glazes. And I believe this is an extension uh, to the range. So the box packaging on all of this stuff is absolutely beautiful. And then the actual packaging, also really beautiful. <laughs> There's 3.6 milliliters of product and a lot of the writing on the packaging is in, I believe it's Mandarin, but I have got number M308 on my lips. I just put some on my finger and then I smooshed it in there with the Too Faced uh, Badass Lip Liner aligned with that, smooshed this product in and then I went over it with the Chantecai Lip, lip Crystal <laughs> that I showed you earlier. So this is another one of those products that have got like a silicone matte base that feel really comfortable on the lips, but you put a little bit on and then you kind of like use your finger or a lip brush and like it blurs out the lip lines. Kind of like think that um, the M Cosmetics lip, lip products that I showed you guys a couple, I think it was last video. Lovely formula as well, it's similar to those. So this is the one that I have got on my lips today. So you'll see kind of what I'm talking about here, um, M308. So if I swatch it and then I blend it out, you can like literally see the blur kind of happening. And it's a very comfortable, just bitten, semi-stained matte lip look. I of course went over it with the Chantecaille, but you can see right there kind of what I'm talking about. And then let me kind of show you some detail on this packaging. It's just stunning. The attention to detail that this brand does, you can see the color on the bottom. It's just really, really stunning. And then we've got M145 right here. That one's M45. And they are very velvety feeling as well. So that one's M45. And then we've got M518. They're showing up very true in the viewfinder. That's M518 right there. Let's 
So you can see where I just put a little bit on my finger because a little bit does go a long way if you're going to use that diffused blur out look, which is kind of how I would use this formula. I think that if you put it on too thick, it's not going to give that really kind of airbrushed look to the lip. But that one right there is M518. And then the last one, I almost wore this in this video today and I was like... Should you be that extra? <laughs> I thought about it anyway because of the eye look that I did. Um, but this is M519. It is a really deep teal green shade, which is kind of like the Fluorasis um, branding color, if you will. So let's blur that guy out. Very, very deep shade there. It's M518. But you can even see how you can blur out a really deep shade like that and it has like this smooth like diffused look to it so those right there are the new velvety color holding lip glazes and the one that I've got on my lips is uh, 308 which is this guy right here and I just put it on and blurred it out like you guys seen me kind of do on my hand there they also sent over their a uh, pretty double-sided mirror, which is this guy right here. I'm actually going to give this to my mom because I had ordered um, some of their Pretty Peach Blossom Loose Powders um, maybe a month or two ago, and it was a gift with purchase. So I have got mine, and I'm going to go ahead and give the other one to my mom. It's got this beautiful image on it that feels like a, a leather. It's very pretty, and then there's a kind of a magnifying side and then a more normal side in the mirror. And it's not one of those mirrors little mirrors like this that you look into and you're like it makes you look a little bit less unflattering it's got a really pretty mirror look to it and then there was also this fluorasis premium makeup sponge in there and I haven't used this just yet because I've got some other sponges in use again with their packaging you just it's so pretty and this sponge is like velvety soft to the touch but it's a little bit more dense feeling than some which I find the more dense the sponge um, the less product that it absorbs. So I'll have to try this. I do like this little point on the end because I like to use a point to get on my or in my inner corner area with concealer. So I'll have to try this one out. And then they sent the Fluorasis Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. This is 03. This is what I've got underneath my eyes today. This is actually the product that I purchased more of. I wanted to try the purpley shade, which is in mist. And that has just a slight bit more brightening than this one. But these powders are so blurring and translucent on the skin like they're my favorite powder to set underneath the eye they're similar to the flower nose circus powders that i've showed you the loose ones there's also one by car Salon that i really like too um, but these ones are a little bit more finer milled compared to the car Salon one the flower nose one is like silk and it's absolutely undetectable on the skin um, if you haven't tried a powder like this compared to like what we're used to trying for underneath the eyes, um, I would try them out. They're so blurring and so beautiful and so undetectable on the skin. It almost makes it look like the concealer that you have underneath your eyes isn't there because of how much it blurs. They're absolutely stunning. So anyway, <laughs> I've got this underneath my eyes in one that I'm using currently, um, but I have got backups of this powder in both the 03 and the 05. And then they sent me this guy right here and it's um, in a different, a little bit different style of casing. Uh, the pattern on the front is so I'll pull the sticker off it's kind of got directions of how you use this because they do function differently than like a normal compact so th this here has got this really shiny sparkle in the background of the glitter and it's got a different kind of pattern on it I'm just going to leave the sticker on to help it from getting scratched but you you twist these sideways and then they pop open and there's the softest softest puff in there and then you open up the flap right there and there's a cushion in there so I have pulled mine out of the ones that I'm using I'm using a 03 and a 05 I have open and um, it just makes it easier for me to kind of use my brush because I do kind of prefer a brush for setting underneath the eyes let me show you guys their uh, this is another iteration of this the casing of the same product. <sighs> I can't remember the name of this collection, but uh, I'm gonna have to pull this sticker off, aren't I? <laughs> I'll pull the sticker off so you guys can see the difference with the packaging here. Same powder though, both in the 03, just different um, beautiful pa uh, packaging components. And then the one that I'm using here in 05, and I also have it in 03 with the same packaging is the white, but they're all that uh, gorgeous peach blossom powder. I can't tip this too far because again, I pulled the sifter out of it. 
It's such a pretty powder. So I was super excited to get another one of those. And then they also sent over the Floral Dewy Linked Lipstick. This is an M1311 box packaging again. And then the actual packaging, very, very beautiful. It comes with this little detachable tassel as well. It's just so stunning. And then you take and you push there's a little like looking, it looks like a key mechanism, but you just push it and then the lipstick pops out of the other end. Um, this is one of their many products. It's very difficult for me to want to use <laughs> because of the embossing on here. There's like a whole story to be told with the embossing around this lipstick. Like I'm going to try... Let's use the very tip of this lipstick because I, I do want to swatch this for you. It's a matte lipstick. This is M1311. I'm going to try to do it ever so gently. It almost kind of matches one of those um, blurring lip velvets there. Very pretty saturated color right there. I could probably actually, let's do that. So I just put a little bit more on and take my finger and give me a little bit more color on the lips because I think these lip products um, look so stunning with the palette that I use. So that is the M1311 right there. Well, I kind of, it's right there. <laughs> packaging is stunning. And then they sent over two of their palettes. So the packaging like, it's so difficult to throw away such beautiful packaging and how it comes. It's just stunning. So, I've got one of these on my eyes today. And then the other one, I have not been able to bring myself to use yet. Because you gotta wait till you see the embossing. There is a little uh, plastic over the top of here. So, it's kind of like a, a limited edition um, look on the front. Let me grab one that I have that's got the original on it. So, here's the original 01 which is also very, very stunning. And then here's the pattern for kind of the newer one. And this is the eyeshadow palette that I've got on my eyes today. And I also have the blush that's in this palette. And there's something that's just absolutely stunning about those burnt reds and oranges with that teal. It's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I love the eye look that came out of this guy. Some of the embossing is still there, but I've ruined quite a bit of it. <laughs> so this is 01 Gold Brown Florastis Floral Engraved uh, Phoenix Makeup Palette. This is a baked jelly formula, which is one of my absolute favorite formulas. Um, these are very pigmented. They pick up on a brush really well. You're going to want to use one that's a little bit smaller to kind of get into these, these strips of these palettes right here. But can we just with this embossing? So we're going to swatch this guy right here because I did use it. Such intricate, intricate embossing. And again, this is the palette that I've got on my eyes today. Look at the shine though, right? This one here is kind of a satin finish. And then here is kind of the blush and you can use it on your eyes as well. I use it on my face and also my eyes. And the shine on this shade is so beautiful. This one here is kind of a satin too. And then this one's got a really pretty sheen. And then this last one is kind of like a satin brown right here. So those are the swatches of the gold brown palette right there. And again, this is what's on my eyes and I think it's absolutely stunning. Packaging is stunning. Embossing is in stunning. The actual products are stunning. How many times have I said stunning in this video? And then they also sent over their newest shade. So this is 05. This is the Florasis Feng Huang relief makeup palette. I probably butchered that. <laughs> it's got the same uh, style on the front. Both of mine still have the plastic on there. I don't know why I just don't pull it off. I feel like I need to protect this. It's just so pretty. And this one I have not been able to bring myself to use just yet because again I don't I have such a hard time ruining the embossing. But if this is not one of the prettiest bronze palettes, this is also a big jelly formulation. 
Um, I'm trying to get you guys to see. There you can really see the embossing on there with the birds. This can be used again as a blush or an eyeshadow. I know you guys want me to swatch it. I can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I need to buy one before I can use this one so that I have one to look at and one to use, you know? Which is ridiculous, but that's the makeup cray cray in me, so. <laughs> so that's the latest uh, color way from the Florasis brand in this style packaging, and that's the Feng Huang Relief Makeup Palette right there. It's so pretty, you guys. Can we just? I'll bring myself to use it when I get another one. <laughs> um, and then again with the box packaging, it's stunning. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful makeup brand. And I am just over the moon for those those powders. Those powders are stunning. Like I said, that uh, Flower Nose powder, very similar to the Peach Blossom powder. They both are just silky smooth and have the most blurring, un undetectable like finish on the skin. They're just stunning, stunning products. So, stunning, stunning. They're stunning. <laughs> um, thank you very much to Florasis for sending me over such a beautiful collection of products. And then lastly, I got in a PR package from Josie Marin. I got in quite a few PR packages. I feel like I get a ton of PR around the holidays, which makes sense. You know, people are shopping for gifts and whatnot. So I got this beautiful package from Josie Marin. It says feel, <laughs> It says feel good naked on there. It's like this giant box. And then this is what is inside of the box. So it's kind of like celebrating your body. <laughs> and the bottom kind of little deals there, they can be like set up for display or also they're, um, they have this little base in there. I'm not even sure if these are available to purchase or not, but they are in the box along with the Argan Infinity Intensive. I feel like I'm going to drop something. Uh, oil, cr intensive creamy oil, which I purchased one of those a while ago and I do enjoy that. I like to use it on the back of my hands. And then also the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil, great for dry skin. I like the scent of it as well. And then I've never tried this. This is the Argan Sugar Balm Body Scrub and I am somebody who suffers from dry skin in the winter time. So I've never really took the time to use a sugar scrub, but the, the times that I have had them and used them, I really enjoyed them, but I feel like it's a product I never like go out to buy. Don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna give it a whirl. It comes with that really cute little scoop to put in there and then one of those jars with the flip top on there. What a lovely PR package though from Josie Marin. And it kind of came in fine timing because we hit negatives in North Dakota and we got dumped on 17 inches, between 17 and 20 inches of snow last week. <laughs> so it was like, you know, 70s, kind of summer, summer fallish for about, I don't know, two weeks and boom, full blown winter time. We don't, we don't do fall around here. It's just summer or winter and that's it. <laughs> so a huge thank you to Josie Marin for sending that over. I'm going to attempt to take care of this dry skin situation I have going on. So that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.